All right, we're uh, we're almost at uh, Games Workshop Stony Point Richmond. It's July 12th. Uh, it's 10:04 a.m., so we're running a little bit late for the actual opening of the store. But on gamer time, it's like midnight, so we're I guess staying up either really late or it's really early in the morning. But like I said, for normal people, this is just regular time. It's 10 a.m. We're almost there. July 12th, 5th edition. And um, see you guys in the store. Alright, here it is. Uh, Games Workshop, Sony Point. Let's do this. Uh, let's cause some carnage, some chaos. The snotlings are bringing up the rear. So, uh, alright. Check it out. Uh, this is a new uh, miniature for the Chaos Demons Army for 40k. This is the uh, the Soul Grinder. Pretty sweet. Let's take a look at the back there. Different weapons. Really doing a great job on this particular model. And uh, anyway, not only does it grind your soul, it also grinds you into sausage. So a uh, Soul Grinder and the Sausage Maker. Good deal. All right, here we are, July 12th. We're learning the new line of sight rules, getting a hands-on demonstration here at Stony Point. Um, I believe we have an Exarch, Eldar Exarch, right here. That is, is an avatar. It's an avatar. Wow, I'm getting back into it. Can you tell? And that's a Land Raider. As you can see, new line of sight rules. You have to be able to see it from the model's eye view. And that is definitely line of sight. That's the Games Workshop laser pointer. Get a shot of that. That's pretty sweet. It puts a nice crosshairs on it. It has the Imperial Eagle on it. So um, I think that that would be a Land Raider that would be um, disembarking its men after it got hit. Uh, hey, uh, this is Don. He's uh, Games Workshop. Uh, Stony Point again still. This is the uh, grand release of 40K, 5th edition, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5th edition. Um, you were here till 2.30 in the morning? Yes, sir. And how? what was that like? Man, it was madness. We had close to 40 folks crammed around our tables in a big, jimongous apocalypse battle. The, uh, it raged and raged. We actually had the battle tying into two other stores in the area um, with uh, Springfield and Annapolis. And, uh, as certain objectives were captured during the game, um, you know, options from the new Apocalypse Reload book became available um, for other players in the other stores. So we'd be in constant phone tag with the other shops there. Um, so it was actually a lot of fun. Uh, great turnout for it. And um, on top of that, you know, it was hailing in the fifth edition rules release. Um, the rule book is absolutely a great addition to the game. Um, so many great changes, a lot more fluid play. Uh, it's going to take some time to get used to some of the changes, but I guarantee you within the week, uh, by our apocalypse battle we're doing next Saturday, most of the people here in our shop are going to be in the know. So it's good stuff. Very nice. What's uh, what's player response been to the new rules? Um, I, you know, I have encountered in the limit in the limited time that the rules have been available, which would be about. 12 hours at this point. Right, are you referring to people who, who read the rules themselves? No, well, read the rules, um, and then there's there's always, that we as gamers, you know, it's change. People don't like oh, yeah. change, but then there's there's that initial response, but then when they actually sit down with the rules and play, yeah. what's, what's that been like after they have in, the play? In our shops, you know, once we've uh, talked to folks, kind of guided them through the changes, um, we had some demo tables set up where we would show them how the changes um, affect the different armies. Um, generally very positive, good reception of it. Um, occasionally, you know, there's always somebody that, that might have an issue with certain things, and uh, even those folks have uh, been swayed. So uh, it's, a, it's a good, uh, I'm supposed to look at you or the camera. <laughs> Either one, doesn't right. matter, doesn't uh, yeah. matter. But uh, those folks have, uh, um, those folks have been generally swayed, and, uh, and and I don't mean swayed in the sense of like, here it is, this is what you do, but but in the sense of that the 
things that they were concerned about, you know, we were able to explain and help them understand that it's in the bigger context. Because what you get with the new edition of the rules is the biggest, most significant thing is absolute clarity. Um, where there were gray areas in certain rules, um, especially like area terrain and things, it's much more defined. And because of that, it just improves gameplay tremendously. Um, with that, you've got, uh, you know, for example, true line of sight. That actually, as you get used to it, takes a little bit. I've played a few games, and it's like, what do I do? You know, you got to get down at eye level. But uh, once you get used to that, and you play it in the overall picture of the of the game, it's a tremendous, tremendous change that actually makes the game a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, a lot more refreshing. Yeah, I was reading uh, online last night, uh, Lucio Cavatore, one of the designers for 5th edition, talking about line of sight putting you actually more in the game. Absolutely. And, um, so that, that seemed like a really exciting change versus, mm -hmm. you know, can I see his base or not? It's more, it seems like it's focusing, line of sight focuses more not on base to base, uh, visual um, line of sight, but more model to model. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely that. Like as as you saw earlier, when we were demonstrating the line of sight, you know, just getting down there on that level with the models, there's you know you can't help it. I'm an adult. There's this little nugget in my head that's like, whoa, this is great. You know, it's it's, a, it's really exciting. You know, because this battlefield I've just been kind of organizing. You know, personally, I'd love to play on this because there's so many little obstacles and things that can you know, produce just dramatic gameplay. And the other thing is with the new rules for deployment and your mission objectives, um, it's changed so much that the game is so dynamic. Uh, for example, I played a game uh, with my orcs versus Grey Knights. And what used to be kind of a classic slugfest still had those elements, but the battlefield itself would be on one side and then suddenly the whole focus of the battle would completely shift across the tabletop. So by turn seven, yes, turn seven, um, the game had changed so dramatically because of the mission rules that are different and the deployment rules. Uh, it's, it's just so much more rewarding. You know, I fought to a draw and I was excited. It was just that fun. So. Yeah, I've, um, I've heard that unless you really bungle, let's say, your entire game, that there's a good chance that a lot of games are going to end in draws. Mm -hmm. Did you find that? Are you finding that's true in so the playing far, out? Yeah, and I've, I've found it, it's like so exciting at that point because by the final turn, it could suddenly change. You know, that last turn could totally change. So you can't predict it from the get-go, and that was kind of something in fourth edition that... You know, the classic phrase is, uh, you know, oh, I get the first turn, I, you know, I'm going to get the most shooting in, I'm going to win. Um, it doesn't work like that anymore. It, it definitely encourages people to think on their toes during the battle. And, and that in itself will really give some insight into the player's ability to adjust quickly on the fly and, um, you know, within the constraints of what's in their army list. Um, people have already learned just from us talking to them and a couple of the games that we've done in the shop that there's going to be some some you know minor tweaks and big tweaks in their army composition that they have to make to uh, really get things on track with the game. So, uh, but in the end, they're they're excited about it, and the fifth edition rules are absolutely exciting. Very cool. Well, thanks for uh, taking out a second with us. Uh, there you go. Busy day, and uh, we'll be uh, hanging out at the shop here for a while longer. And uh, rock on. Happy birthday, 5th edition. <laughs> right.